Make him whistle like a missile. Bum, bum. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, John, and today I'm gonna do another video for you guys. I know it's been a while, and I'm gonna do the unboxing of the collaboration of my perk off white. And without further ado, let's get it into the video. Okay, so I got this shoes on the Luisa Aroma side, and this is a Nike Waffle Racer per Off White. And nice. let's do the unboxing. So they beautifully packed this for me. So they um, have this Luisa Aroma ribbon over here, and it's um, like a paper thing. And I have my receipt over here and I got this actually last January and I didn't have time to film this and now I'm filming it for you guys for you to share my review and unboxing so here we go guys this is the box I'm just gonna put this on this side it do come um, in this orange box but it doesn't have the light logo um, over it and it has many holes all over the box and when you open it, it has this um, wrapping paper of the Off-White for Spring Summer, I think 2020, as you can see and let's open so here we go guys, this is the Waffle Razor um, in the what color is this one, I think let's just look up the side of the box. I'm just gonna show you guys the um, box real quick. So this like the upper part. This is where you open it. So yeah, these are the holes. As you can see, you can see underneath the new wrapping paper of the Off White Spring Summer 20. And in this part, as you can see, it has um, the Waffle Racer off slash off white for the OW in white, black, and electric green colorway. This one is 8.5 in women's and 7 in US size, but in Euro it's like the same. It's like the Euro 40. Like in here, literally, I'm a size 40. And this one is the tag of Luisa de Roma, as you can see. And uh, yeah. Let's move on to the shoe. So in this part, as you can see, it has the Luisa Aroma tag. Um, like they are doing this one. In case you want to return this shoe, um, you it, it, it this one should be um attached where they already put this. Once you've got this, you can um return this shoe. And uh, if you're curious, what's there? This like the stock number that Luisa Villaroma has and it has this um, uh, product authenticity tag. Do not remove in case of readers. So yeah, as you can see there, they authenticated this shoes. And uh, as you can see, it has made in China, fabric in China, hatches in, hatch in China. Um, like the original tag for this shoes. Let's move on on the other side. So I'm just gonna give you a quick um, overview for the shoes. So, as you can see in this part, it has the classic um, tag, um, like the, how do you call it, zip tie um, tag and over here, but it's different material. This one is in color green and it has this um, like a felt velvet um, cloth over here and it feels really nice. And yeah, I don't know what to say um, over the zip tag, um, zip tie or zip tag, what do you call this? And it do come um, with the shoelaces over here, as you can see, like the classic um, shoelaces of the off-white and it has the 3M laces um, neon green over on the top of it. And this shoe, so let's just put this inside so on the top of the sneakers as you can see it has like this plastic thing uh, above it but inside you have a nice cloth 
like um, how do you call that? Like a waterproof cloth. And at the back, you have like a velvet um, off-white color underneath, as you can see on this um, lining over here. And on the sheen, uh, it's like near the tongue. So at the side, you can see the classic off-white uh, for Nike Waffle Racer Beverton Arig Oregon USA C 2019. So, yeah. And on the other side, you can see like a foil or a silver um, Nike logo with the traditional orange um, like a square or tag over here. And at the back, you can see the underneath the Nike um, how do you call that? Um, Nike logo or Nike Nike writing um, within the foil or the silver material. And uh, as you can see, it has like two colors on the sole. It's white and then underneath it has like a pinkish fuchsia with neon green and then the off-white with this spikes. So most of the people didn't like these spikes underneath as you can see. They are um, removing the spikes underneath but I think this one is a really um, Nice look and like a very, um, how do you call that? Avant garde, what do you call in the fashion room? So, um, yeah, I don't know what to say with this shoes. Like, let's see inside. Then I remove the paper. So, the tongue, as you can see, it's like the unfinished um, tongue in like a light blue foam inside has the um, vintage Nike logo and at the back as you can see it has the Nike sport shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletics throughout the world the Nike name and swoosh stripe are your guarantee of quality made in China for in China so you can see the back of the um, Nike vintage logo and the inside you can see the you see like the tag for the sizing when it's it was released and like the QR code over there and the insole it has this for the insole it has this yellow Insole like the new print of the Nike for spring summer like the wrapping paper that they did on the box It has the Nike logo inside and yeah So guys in the laces um, It has the classic um, White shoelaces as you can see and the 3M shoelaces um, also have the How do you call that? like the labeling shoelaces over it i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna try to zoom this out for you guys as you can see there it also has the shoelaces branding over it like this one
shoes I'm gonna rate this like a 10 out of 10 because it's very comfortable on feet and it has great aesthetics and I think this suits my style and it, um, this shoes is very very unique and I think having a pair on your collection elevates your outfit and your everyday life so if um, they're like me and you like um, different crazy things like limited stuff and like I'm not gonna say one of a kind but very very creative and like a different one I definitely recommend this shoes and if you like this kind of video guys don't forget to hit that um, subscribe button and hit the bell button to get you notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. Ciao! <laughs> Io vi chiedo pardon, ma non seguo il bon ton, è che a cena devo avere sempre in mano un iPhone, il cane dichiara per ragni al proprio di fulton.